ice and sleep were blowing into my face. I forgot my hat. And I was late to school, so I was running and it was icy. And that's when I saw him across the street. Mad dog. When I was thinking of a title for this show, it was important for me that both sides of the equation were present. So it's called Better Than That, Bullying and the Power of Kindness. This was the kid who had gotten kicked out of school two times. The first time because he cut off a girl's ponytail and threw it in the garbage. <laughs> the second time because he told the teacher to you know, something bad. All of us have some aggression. It's part of being a human being. David tells me that you threw an ice ball that hit him in his ear. Is that true? And he looked at me with eyes of fire. And then he looked at her with eyes of sweetness and said, uh-uh, I didn't do it. I, it was this other guy who was near me and he, he threw the ice ball. I didn't have anything to do with it, Mrs. Johnson. And he looked at me like, <laughs> Well, the show is balanced between fables and real life. The fables are the stories that contain the redemption, the good stuff. So they're the fables that are teaching stories. The stories from my own life are the rough parts, and they're all true. So the story of um, the time I dropped a basketball on my friend's head is true. And I picked it up again, and Chuck said, see how many times you could dribble it on his head. And I was like, okay, boom, 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 boom. And the next thing he didn't stop, he started crying. He couldn't, I couldn't hear his voice, because oh, oh, oh. but his eyes started to tear, and I was like, boom, boom. And the ball ran off, and they let him up, and he was crying so hard he couldn't even talk. He couldn't hardly breathe. His head was hurting so much, he could hardly walk. He went to his mother, and he told her what happened. And I got punished bad. And I feel bad about it. And I remember that moment when it was my choice. It was all my choice whether I was going to drop that ball or not. And there are moments of choice where you can stop, drop into your heart, and open your heart. I know that when I held that ball over little Stevie's head, I was better than that. So it's a little tidbit, but it really is critical to have that skill to recognize, to pause, to go into feeling, and to be compassionate. Fourth floor, he looks at me and says, I'm sorry. He did. He said he was sorry. And in that moment, everything changed. He saw me sad, he saw me crying, and something opened. He stopped, he dropped, and he opened. 